let's do a little bit of, of show and tell here. So I've got some of my uh, 3D printed models. And um, we're going to start out with kind of taking this guy apart right here. All right. So this is just a twist, twist, lock, and unlock. All right. And what I want to show a little bit is going to be how this tapered surface goes together. Now, we've got, of course, two parts. So we've got the insert itself. All right. And we've got on the other side, this would be the top of the steel body. So one of the surfaces that we talked about that's, that's of course, important, let's say, is the bottom surface here, but especially this surface right here. This is kind of your, your axial drive, right. you could almost call it, right? So that's really where you're able to provide your thrust force. You've got these tapered sections in here, okay, which match up with your, with your body. Um, to help lock it in place. Um, so it's both tapered in these areas here. And then one of the things that I really want to point out is, you know, what we call the drive block. And I'm going to go to a, to a little bigger 3D model here just to get it to focus a little bit better. There it goes. All right. So this area here is what we call the drive block. And if you look at that, you can see you know, just how wide and how big it is. That is what's providing your torque, your torsion transmission. So this thing is really, really strong in terms of, you know, we have a big surface here to take your axial forces. You know, then we have the big massive drive blocks to help transmit torque. Um, and then of course, we've got your kind of cam surfaces that help lock it in and a bunch of stuff too. Uh, and that large so. drive block that you're, you're pointing out is not only important on the insert, but it's also important on the drill body because it also has a, the, the mirror of that. That's that's right. 